man. We are very, very excited to be joined by one of the newest quarterbacks of your Las Vegas Raiders, Gardner Minshew. Gardner, it feels like you have circled the Raiders your career, right? We go back to that final game in Oakland. Uh, we played Philly when you were on the Eagles, obviously last year as a member of the Colts. It's nice to finally have you on the right side of this, uh, of this colorway, my friend. That's right, man. I'm so happy to be here with the silver and black, man. We're about to have a have a blast over here. So let me let's start here. Why the Raiders, right? I mean, a dude who's you obviously played a lot in this league, found a lot of success in this league. Why the Raiders in 2024? What made sense for you at this point in your career, personally and professionally? Yeah, um, first is a great opportunity to come in and compete on a team that I believe has a chance to go out and win some games. You know, we played a very competitive game. You know, at the end of last season. And I think uh, everybody in the league could kind of feel the energy that was kind of building with this team. And um, just being here now, you really feel that in the building, what uh, Coach is bringing. And uh, just so excited to be a part of it. You know, you, you talk about AP, and AP is a, a dude who certainly is going to let the players be themselves, right? You know, kind of bring their own personality, their own flavor, their own swagger to everything. Um, I imagine that that's kind of a, a appealing to you at this point in the game. Like, we're coaching, be like, hey, man, just be you. Like you say, come in here and compete. But in terms of personality and letting you, you know, Gardner be Gardner, it's got to be pretty exciting. Oh, it's huge, man. I think that's one of the biggest things um, for a coach to do is to believe in a guy and let them to be themselves, you know, allow them to make mistakes, but understand that a lot of good is going to come from that, from uh, that that freedom um, and that confidence, man. So I'm, I'm fired up about it. You know, you talk about that competition, and it's obviously Aiden here and, and certainly more players to be added to the uh, the quarterback room here as, as we have now officially two quarterbacks on the roster as we sit here in the early goings of the league year. But um, just kind of your excitement to go in and, like you say, compete, kind of put your best foot forward and, and let the chips fall where they may a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, you know, my goal is, since I've been in the league is to get better and have fun every day, you know. So as long as I'm getting better, having fun, I know I'll be helping this team win. And uh, that's that's what I'm excited to do. You know, you go back to last year and, and 13 stars for the Colts, the most you had in your career. When you kind of like zoom out from last year a little bit and, and just look at the experience, the reps, like what what's the major takeaway for or for you from getting all that run uh, in Indy? Yeah, it was a great experience to play um, that much consecutively. You know, there's a, kind of a learning aspect of just how to manage the season, you know, that long. Um, but I think we had a lot of success. We were very close to, you know, make the playoffs there. Um, and I think, you know, the longer you get in this thing, at the end of the day, it's about winning. You know, uh, uh, that's all you can really do. That's how you're going to be judged as a quarterback, as a player. Um, so I'm just excited to be here and to help this team win any way I can. You know, and for a guy like you, who has obviously been the starter at times, has, has come off the bench in relief, has been thrust into action, right, when you don't necessarily, necessarily know it's coming. I mean, at this point in the game for you, like how valuable is it that you've filled kind of all those roles, that you haven't had this straight line NFL career? You've done it all in terms of the quarterback position. Yeah, no, I think there's a lot of confidence that comes from knowing that you've been through some tough spots, you know. Um, I think every time I step out there, I grow in confidence. Uh, you learn every time you step out there. Um, and just so excited to be able to use that experience uh, here. You know, what's the biggest challenge in, in turn? I guess what's the biggest difference from being the star like you were for 13 weeks last year as opposed to like all of a sudden, hey, the shoulder tap, all right, dude, it's time to go. Like, let's, we got to go rock this mid second quarter. Yeah, I think it's just uh, rallying everybody, just getting everybody on the same page. And that's one of the things that, um, you know, I feel like I've been able to do in my career is just rally guys. You know, I think when you get those 11 in the huddle, you got to pull together and, you know, no matter who's more talented, who's, uh, you know, has a better scheme, if you got 11 guys pulling in the same direction, you're going to have a really good shot. You know, you look at some of the pieces that you're going to have here in, in Las Vegas, you know, obviously Jacoby and, and, and Devontae. And, you know, sticking with Devontae for a sec, one of the best at, at his craft in the entire NFL, a dude who a lot of us think that his, gonna, his career is going to end with one of those beautiful gold jackets. But what do you, how excited are you to kind of work with him and get a chance to throw to him on a regular basis? Oh, words can't express. Uh, I'm so excited, man. That dude is – you know, the best in the league and has been for, you know, a while. Um, so I feel like it would be my job to put him in the best position and put this team in the best position to win games. You know, we, we talked earlier about you kind of circling the Raiders, and it feels like you guys have always been in, like, you know, semi-same orbits of, of one another. But, you know, when you when you looked at this team, obviously, last year, having a chance to go up and, and, and play them, but, you know, some of those previous experiences, well, like, what stood out to you about this team, you know, specifically after November 1st when AP took over? Yeah, no, you could just feel um, the sense of urgency, man, the competitiveness. Um, guys that were playing hard, man, playing for each other. Um and, you know, talking some junk, doing it, you know, having fun, a little bit of swagger to it. Like, I love that. I'm all about it, man. And, um, 
Yeah, excited to be a part of that on a daily basis. You know, and it feels, we talked about it a lot last year, Gardner, it, it felt very Raiders, right, for lack of a better term, especially when AP came, you know, came into the uh, to the big chair and some of the changes that he implemented, the smoking of the cigars in the locker room after the games, like, it just felt very Raiders. Uh, and, and looking at social media the past couple of days when the fans found out that you're going to be joining us, they kind of said that same thing, where it just feels like Gardner has this Raider-type swagger, type of chip on the shoulder kind of energy to him. And, and is that kind of how you look at it, too, a little bit? Absolutely, man. Just win. That's that's all it is. You know, um, you know, whatever we got to do, we're going to stra- scratch and claw and get it done. Uh, you know, I met Kenny, uh, Kenny Stabler back when I was in like seventh grade, man. And that was one of the coolest things, you know, the snake. So I've always, you know, had a lot of respect for the uh, tradition of the franchise and uh, so happy to be a part of it. Where where do you come across the snake as a young gardener, Minshew? Dude, I was at an Alabama spring game with a buddy of mine whose dad played there, John Mangum. Um, played there as an All-American. He's getting recognized. And we ended up like three seats away from the snake, man. He was looking cool. He had his shades on, hair back, you know. Man, s- still stuck with me. It's, I mean, and the beautiful white hair at that Woo! point, too. God I mean, I have, I have long said, when, when my time comes, like, I want to grow the hair long, and I want to go all white. I don't want to go salt and pepper. I want it to be mm-hmm. all white, Santa Claus-esque, snake-esque, if yeah, you will. Yeah, that's it. No, there's nothing better, man. He's letting it eat uh, for a long, long time, you know. The best, the best. And, and you know, it's so funny, too, where you look at historically, and obviously Snake is kind of part of that that conversation, but guys like Jim Plunkett, quarterbacks who have come in here, similar journey to you, right? Guys who have been to a handful of places, who have found a little success here, a little success there, but really have been able to kind of ingratiate themselves with the fan base here. I think that for us, as we've, as we've kind of watched the, the t- you know, the, the sea ties the past couple of days of the fans talking about you, like, it feels like you have an opportunity to kind of fall into that uh, category of a guy who's finally going to find a home, a quality home here in Las Vegas with the silver and black yeah no I sure hope so man I'm I'm so happy to be here man and just want to be a part of this as much as I can and give everything to this team and help us win literally in any way I can Uh, that's awesome man before we let you go I uh, I promise one of my my buddies is a diehard eastern Washington guy right Spokane born and raised loves the Cougs the whole deal and he made me promise to ask you this the jorts homemade or do you have a jorts guy like what is the process of, of getting that kind of figured out no nah, they're homemade for sure man because you got to figure out your length it can't be too short you know the daisy dukes look good on some people not on me you know but can't be too long either because that's pretty square and then you gotta you gotta take some scissors and run them down get a little bit of fray going get a couple a couple of times through the dryer so it frays because if you just get some fresh ones there ain't no fray that ain't it you know so there's a sweet spot there you really got to find ah it is. It, it, like all things in life, Gardner Minshew, finding that sweet spot. Well, man, we are so excited to have you here in Las Vegas. Congratulations. An exciting day for you, you and the family. Best of luck. And I promise you, good sir, we're going to talk to you soon, okay? Heck yeah, man. Thank you.